Today, we're taking a look at Static Shadows of Dakota. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and this, this is my review and overview of Static Shadows of Dakota. This is a standard size hardcover out from DC Comics and Milestone Media right now. So if you are interested in grabbing this book, check out the overview. I promise it's going to be as spoiler free as possible, but this is also going to count as my review. I'm going to tell you what I think of the art and the story. Now, if you are looking to grab this, uh, you should be able to get it at any local comic shop and pretty much everywhere books are sold. But just in case, I did leave a link in the description down below where you can grab this from our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. They're the best place to go online for collected editions. And if you use my name at checkout, you'll get an additional $2 off your purchase. So that's uh, coupon code BJKicks at checkout. Save an extra $2. You'll be helping out the channel while grabbing something super dope. This was one of my favorite reads of 2023. So I'm super excited that we can start 2024 with a bang by grabbing this hardcover. Let's go ahead and jump into the review. All right, guys, today we are taking a look at this, the static Shadows of Dakota. This is a standard sized hardcover from DC Comics and Milestone Media. Uh, this, of course, being the sequel to Static Season 1 uh, from the Milestone Returns line. Uh, this written by Nick Draper Ivy with Vita Ayala. Uh, this does also include uh, a one shot written by Evan Narcisse with art by Charles Stewart III. We'll talk about the contents in just a second. Uh, but this is a dope book. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before we even do that, though, quick note, you guys can see this uh, dust jacket is a completely uh, glossy dust jacket. Unlike Static Season 1, which was like a matte dust jacket with just spot gloss on it. So off the bat, I kind of like the feel of the first hardcover a little bit better with those little like glossy accents versus actual gloss all over. But anyway, Static Shadows of Dakota. This collects Static Shadows of Dakota issues one through seven, so the full series, and Static Team Up Anansi number one, which is a one shot that takes place in between seasons one and season two. Uh, as you can see, we got art here by my man Nick Draper Ivy, beautiful static and Ebon looking so menacing in the background. Cover price on this $29.99 in the US, $39.99 if you're in Canada. Um, and like I said, Nick Draper Ivy, writing and art. Uh, Vita Ayala also assisting on the art. Evan Narcisse, Will Quintana on colors for both series with some other art by Charles Stewart III. Let's go ahead and get this dust jacket off. And boom, there you go. Under the dust jacket, you see it. Static Shadows of Dakota. Look at Ebon, like, reaching out to grab you. On the back of that hardcover, this is not a wraparound image. This is two separate images. But you see it. This lovely static piece. I want to say this is from issue seven by Nick Draper Ivy. I love this cover. And if, in my opinion, this should have been the cover for the book. I feel like this sells the hardcover a little bit better than this does. But hey, first issue cover can't really go wrong. Anyway, I've already stretched the spine. Let's take a look at these beautiful end sheets, keeping that same sort of uh, scheme they had with all the other Milestone Returns titles. Love the sort of blue and orange tones here. And there we go. Static Shadows of Dakota, little title page. We got your credits. All this done by Nick Draper Ivy, this art that is. And then we even get a nice little wrap up page for Static Season 1. So you do not have to buy or read the Static Season 1 hardcover. You get caught up right here. You can pause the video and read that if you would like. And then we jump straight into the action. This is issue one. Love this character design, this outfit by Nick Draper Ivy. I even had to get uh, my man, Steven, to make a hoodie for me with that same design on it. We saw it in the intro. And we jump right in. Now, I loved this book, this series. Um, I think issue one is especially strong. One of the things that I wasn't a big fan of in Static Season 1 was just what I felt like were was an inconsistency on the art style or an incompatibility. Uh, because my man Nick was being 
um, he was drawing over layouts by the legendary Criss Cross. And while Criss Cross is legendary and we saw his art on Blood Syndicate season one, and it looked amazing. Something about the two styles just didn't always match. Uh, but this time around, we got Nick doing his own starts, finishes, and then Will's doing colors um, on some issues. And it just, it flows a little bit better from a stylistic perspective. But as far as the story, so we pick up, you know, a little bit after the Big Bang and, you know, the Static's first like sort of run in with Francis, a.k.a. Hot Streak. Now, you know, everybody knows that Bang Babies exist. There is some sort of organization lurking in the shadows, stealing Bang Babies, kidnapping them. Nice little cameo from the Blood Syndicate, which is dope. And so Static's got to figure out, you know, what's happening to these kids? Who's taking them? Where are they taking them? What are they doing? In the meantime, we get an appearance from Ebon. Ebon being the uh, main villain or one of the main villains from the animated series. And uh, Ebon's got a very similar plight going on. I'm going to stop here so I don't spoil anything while I'm flipping through. Ebon's got a similar plight going on. Uh, his brother is actually one of the people that's been kidnapped by this sort of shadow organization. And so Static is trying to like figure out who's kidnapping these bang babies, return them home safely, but humanely, like a hero would do. Ebon is taking no prisoners. I don't care. Kicking butt, taking names. Like he's just doing by any means necessary, which I believe is actually the title of one of these issues. Uh, so you get a very Martin and Malcolm uh, sort of dialogue between the two of them. Uh, a Professor X and Magneto, if you will, uh, when it comes to the ideological approaches. And you see these parallels all throughout the series. The more the series goes on, the more you understand why Ebon is Ebon. And of course, you got to be reminded why Static is Static. And uh, Static's got to be reminded himself. So again, this art is amazing by Nick Draper Ivy. And I really, really love the story. I'm going to skip all the static uh, shadows of Dakota pages and go straight to this static team up a Nazi, uh, which, like I said, was a sort of one shot that came out between season one and two. This actually came out a little bit after season one, issue one. But anyway, um, written by Evan Narcisse, who is like, you know, huge milestone fan. He did like a lot of the research for that uh, documentary that DC did and speaks a lot when it comes to milestone. He also did the milestone 30th anniversary special. But anyway, uh, this is just him taking another character from the static animated series, a Nazi, um, and giving him, you know, light in the comics. And so Nazi comes to town and uh, does what he does and helps static out. This has art by Charles Stewart, the third, who is a milestone initiative alum, if I remember correctly, and who does a great job. I really enjoyed this one shot, this issue. So in this hardcover, you pretty much get everything that DC put out featuring static in the year 2023. Uh, the only thing you don't get is the milestone 30th anniversary special um, story, which maybe they'll put that in the hardcover. That'd be cool. And I'm already looking at extras. This is the one in 200 variant for static shadows of Dakota issue number one. And while we're doing it, right. Let's make our comparisons. This is a standard size hardcover, which I kind of told you that already. This is it compared to a regular comic book. As you can see, they are the same size. Hello, guys. Can you see me in the foil? What's up? So they're the same size. Uh, this is it compared to your typical DC, whoops, DC Deluxe Edition. So you can see, not oversized, right? But... It's all good. That's the next campaign. Can we get oversized milestone, DC? That would be dope. Let's get Batman out of here. This isn't a Batman video. So Shadows of Dakota, definitely a dope book. You should absolutely pick it up. Uh, shout out to Vita Ayala and Nick Draper Ivy. As far as the story is concerned, huge improvement over season one because we jump straight into the action and we don't lose any of the emotion that we were getting in season one. We just get it alongside more action. Very well done. I thought the plot wrapped up nicely 
And all in all, if you can only read one static comic, this is the one I'm recommending. Maybe even above Trial by Fire, that first static trade. This is probably the story for this generation of static fans. Shadows of Dakota, highest recommendation. Definitely go out and grab that. You can grab it at the link in the description down below at Organic Price Books, and you'll get a little bit of a discount for doing so. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in another review real soon. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and uh, read something dope today. Peace.